How are you brethren? I like to continue with the sermon that I teach there earlier about how God qualifies the call. How God can call the qualifier and, and qualify him and then qualify that call. I like to take this opportunity to talk about how God qualifies the call. Now, in the book of Matthew chapter 1, in verse, one, in verse 3, we find somebody we call Taman. Verse 5, we call somebody we call Rahab. And in verse 6, we call somebody we call Bethsheba. Oh, yes, why? These three women are the prostitutes. But God had qualified them. Are we together? And make them to bring Jesus Christ as a son of man. You remember, let us start from verse 3 of this generation. Or the ancestors of Jesus Christ. Or the PIVs, the people who come to bring Jesus Christ in the world as the son of man. And we're going to begin with this prostitute we call Tamar. In verse 3 of Matthew, we find Tamar. And Tamar was a prostitute according to the book of Genesis chapter 38. Go and read that book, you find how Tamar sleep with the father-in-law. But in that situation, in that disqualified situation, God qualified her and make him, her, to sit in a PIV seat as an ancestor of the Jesus Christ, the anointed one, and the man filled with the Holy Spirit are we together. When we proceed in the verse, verse 5, we find the prostitute Rahab. And you're going to find the story of Rahab in the book of in the book of Joshua chapter 2. How he hide the spies that Joshua sent them to spy there in Jericho. Are we together? Then God in that unqualified situation qualify her and make her to sit in a PIV seat and ancestors of the Holy One, anointed one, Jesus Christ. In verse 6, we finalize with the prostitute we call Bathsheba. When David see him, according to the book of first, Second Samuel chapter 11, he tell his servant to, come, to go and fetch him. Then David sleep with him. And you know what happened after that. These three prostitutes, God qualified them from that situation of unqualified and elevate them and make them to sit in a PIV seat to promote Jesus Christ as the Son of Man. Let us proceed. Do you know about Ruth? When you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, from verse 3, you're going to find that God tell the children of Israel, or warn them not to marry Moabite, Avites, and Amorites, and those kind of people, because they're going to make them to turn from God and start worshiping the Yagos. Are we together? Also, when you read the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11, you're going to find how Solomon married this kind of women, those God and refuse not to marry them. Moabite women, Amorites, and so forth. God and tell the children of Israel, don't either marry with this kind of people because they will go to lead you in a mess and they will go to make you to worship the gods and to forget about me you are God remember Israel has chosen one the people who God 
call them my children. Are we together? But let take a look in the book of Ruth. Chapter 1, verse 15. Let me read because I need you to understand how God qualifies the call. Are we together? In the book of Ruth, chapter 15, verse 15, chapter 1, verse 15, and I got to read using good news Bible. So Naomi tell, tell Ruth, your sister-in-law had come back to our people and our gods. So, also you go back to your gods and your people. Gods and your people. But Ruth answered him. But Ruth answered her. Don't ask me to go to leave you. Let me go with you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. What, whatever you, your people will be, will be my people. Your God will be my God. So, don't tell me to go back to these gods. Those idols they usually to worship, those Moabites. I know my ancestors, Moabite people, worshiping gods. But me, I need your God in Naomi to be my God. Then God qualify Ruth. And Ruth, you're going to find him in the PIV, the ancestors of Jesus Christ. Are we together? This is how God qualified the call. Call the disqualify and then qualify them. I like to show you something Jesus Christ said. And I like to show you according to thy Bible. How Jesus talk about this and qualify and qualifies it. I like to read the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 25. It says that I am going to read using good news Bible. At that time Jesus said, Father Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you. Because, I thank you because you have shown to unlearning what you have hidden from the wise and learning. Yeah. Yes. Verse 26 say, yes, Father, this is how you wanted it to happen. God refilled Great things is great revelation to unlearn and hide, hide it to learn because God needs to use disqualify people and qualify that call and elevate them. Are we together? So, from today, and be, before I finished, I like to take a look how. Paul told us about these things. And I like to read 1 Corinthians. Let me tell you 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. Paul told us God had chosen what this world considered no nonsense. Are we together? To ashamed the wise. All learned people. God had chosen the weak things in this world. To ashamed the people of muscles. God can call the weak and make him to have muscles. Because he can disqualify, then he qualify the call. He elevate this kind of people and make them to see it with kings as he had done to somebody like Ruth, somebody like Rahab, somebody like Tamar, somebody like Bathsheba. Are we together? So be careful and don't despise where you are because God have great need of you. Don't despise your small beginning. Don't despise what you are doing today. But do everything according to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 31 to glorify the Lord. 
Everything you do, whether you drink, whether you eat, whether you dance, whether you do what, do it to glorify the Lord. And God will going to see you from that level you are. And he will going to elevate you. He's going to take you from disqualified situation. Then he will going to elevate you and qualify you and make you to sit with the kings. Are we together? So don't despise your small beginning. Don't despise yourself because people are mocking you. The high of God is upon you. And when you know this, he'll come to encourage you even more. Like Job 21 from verse 1. When this kind, the friends of Job come to comfort Job, they accuse him, you are the sinner, you are the word and word and word and word. But chapter 21 from verse 1, Job told them, this is the kind of comfort that I like you, that I like to get from you. If you live according to the line and portray the character of Jesus Christ, according to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9, Hate what is the evil and love what is good. Live with people in a good way. And God of heaven will go to elevate you to take you from this qualified situation and qualify you. May God be with you. May you not despise where you are because God is looking at you. Then you must know that how Jesus taught us the people who God is looking. Chapter 4 of John, verse 24 and 23. God is looking the people who will worship him in truth and spirit. So what you need is not what you are. What you need is to worship God in truth and spirit. And he will come to qualify you from that disqualified situation. And make you and elevate you. And make you to sit with kings. Thank you very much. And may God bless you. And may God do good to you. And may God be with you as you go. As you come in. May God bless you until you marvel. What about this kind of blessing? Let's pray. Father Lord of heaven and earth. I bless my subscribers. I bless my viewers. I bless everybody who is going to see this video and who is going to be told about this video because it's going to elevate you, it's going to qualify you because you call this qualify and you qualify them. Thank you, Jesus, because of, of, this, of this great person of yours. This person is watching me and getting something from you. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because you're going to make him whole her to do according to your will. Take his life. Control it the way you like it. Take over his life. Control the way you like it to be. And let him hold her. Do according to your will. Thank you Jesus. And thank you because you're going to cause increase. In these people. The way you cause increase in Athens. In Corinthian. When Paul speak about you. You cause increase. Cause increase inside this person who is watching me. And may God bless this person. I am teacher Grenda. I'm not teacher by profession or attending any college or university. But I am teacher by the will of God. May God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. You are just the boss.